Aries, welcome to your love reading. We're going to be looking at what is coming towards you in love. What are the current energies for you in love? And then we're also going to look at what can you expect next? What do you need to know? So let's jump right in for Aries. Spirits, angels, guides, messages, guides, please for Aries. As always, Aries, these are general readings, so they will not resonate with every Aries watching. So take what resonates for you. What applies to you and leave the rest and check out your other placements as well your moon your rising sign or any other sign of significance i have all the playlists for each sign linked in the description box and the description box also has information on my book my oracle decks personal readings all that fun stuff all right for aries what can they expect in love okay we have fearless motivated and bold what else can we expect for Aries? What else can we expect? Past life. What else can we expect for Aries? What else can we expect for Aries? For February 2022. Difficult decision. Okay, can I get one more? One more for Aries. An unexpected event. That's kind of like my tower card. So this could be involving someone that you've already had a connection with, with past life. Um, it could be an ex or it could be someone literally in a past life. I think there is a tower moment that's unfolding. Um, and it's because I feel like it's tied to a decision. So someone has made a difficult decision and it's brought about some sort of tower and i feel like this is someone that's kind of becoming fearless or more bold or is very just motivated to make something happen here what do we, what do we need to know for aries spirits angels guys. what do we need to know for aries regarding love what do we need to know what can aries expect in love, what can Aries expect? In love, okay. We have the Knight of Swords reverse, Queen of Wands, the Fool. Oh, yeah, this is definitely something new. The Knight of Swords reverse, interesting. Five of Cups reverse. The moon, Pisces energy, and the Ten of Wands reverse. Hmm. Eight of Pentacles reverses the overall energy. So I think someone, something new is obviously taking shape here with the Fool. And this Queen of Wands could be you, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy there. But I feel like this is kind of all connected in a way. This is someone that I feel with the Five of Cups reverse is trying to regain something that they've lost. The moon is telling me that there is still something here that maybe you just don't know or you're not expecting. You don't have the clarity yet, Aries. And the Ten of Wands reverse is telling me that someone's dropping a burden. So this is kind of like current energies at the top. Uh, near future energies at the bottom so let's get some insight here now the eight of pentacles is reversed as the overall energy which tells me someone's not able to put in effort or energy into something so let's see what this is about why is the eight of pentacles reverse why is the eight of pentacles reverse the fool yeah so i feel like this this beginning is something that someone has possibly been working towards for a while four of swords but i feel like there's something out of their control here it's like it's not i don't know the message i'm getting is almost like i feel like this is someone that wants to put an effort but can't for some reason tell me about the eight of pentacles reverse yeah, the Magician and the Ace of Wands. This is somebody that wants this. They want to make this happen. But I feel like there's, there is, it's almost with this Four of Swords, like there's not, it's not completely up to them. Maybe they are dependent on 
a certain fi uh, legal decision or financial situation to clear up or something like that. Okay, so why the Knight of Swords reverse? Why is the Knight of Swords reverse? Nine of Cups. Why is the Knight of Swords reverse? Judgment. And the Empress. Well, this is interesting because the Knight of Swords reverse typically is a card about either a message that's not delivered or the message is delivered in a terrible way. It could end up in a fight. There could be conflict, verbal conflict, or outright deception. But I, I'm not getting that here, um, especially with the Judgment card in the Nine of Cups. Can I get one more for the Knight of Swords reverse? Why is the Knight of Swords reverse? Why is the Knight of Swords reverse? Yeah, the Ace of Swords. This isn't deception. I feel like this is a delayed message or a blocked message. With the Ace of Swords in Judgment, it's almost like there's real clarity here, information, an awakening based on truth. The Nine of Cups is someone's wish being granted or feelings of satisfaction, um, success, contentment. I feel like someone has been wanting to have this Ace of Swords for a while or to be able to deliver this message. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Yeah, Page of Wands. Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Nine of Swords, the star. Interesting. I feel like this is somebody that with the Page of Wands and the Ace of Swords, it's like this draw. I, I, I sense someone that's very driven, uh, and ambitious, or you know, almost like impulsive. They they want to be able to deliver this message, and they might be telling someone that they left a situation. You have the Star and the Lovers here, and then the Nine of Swords, worry, anxiety, stress. Hmm, let's keep going because I feel like this might makes sense when we have all of the energies down here. What can you tell me about this Queen of Wands? Why is the Queen of Wands here? Three of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? The Hangman. Yeah, there's been a hold up. There's been a delay. This Queen of Wands might have been waiting for this person. This could be you, Aries, or your person. You've been waiting for someone. Maybe this is someone waiting to take action, waiting to be fearless and bold. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands. The Ten of Wands, definitely, this is connected. Someone has been held back from this new beginning. You or your person, take it as it resonates. I feel it's more like your person here. But it's like, it's like you've been carrying a burden, whoever this is, has been carrying a burden and it's kept them back from what they truly desire here. The Magician, the Fool, the Ace of Wands. What's this Fool about? Why is, why is the Fool here? The star and the lovers, yeah. Okay, Aquarius and Gemini energy. Healing, renewal, hope, faith, in love and in partnership. This new really, this, if I could speak, <laughs> this new beginning I feel is regarding some sort of partnership. I have the King of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Page of Swords. Let's see, tell me about the lovers and the star. Tell me about the lovers and the star. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles is about a partner. Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck and then the Ten of Cups. I feel like someone's missing their person. They think about their person, they think about a new beginning with their person, but it's not just thinking. I feel like whoever this is, 
the decision has been made or will be made here. An unexpected decision. I feel like this is something that whoever's making this decision, they wanted to make this decision for a long time, but they've been held back, weighed down. And they haven't been able to deliver this message or get started or, you know, it's like they, this Nine of Cups has been eluding them. And this is regarding a partner. Okay, so this is starting to make a little bit of sense here. So tell me about the Five of Cups reverse. What's that? The Nine of Swords. Tell me about the Five of Cups reverse. Why is the Five of Cups reverse? The Three of uh, Pentacles. I feel like this is somebody that wants to work things out with the Five of Cups reverse. I feel like this is an X. Yeah, Eight of Cups. Maybe they walked away in the past. Yeah, and they want to come back in. I mean, this is very clear energy. I don't know if someone got in the way here with the Three of Pentacles or if they just want to work on things but can't because the Eight of Pentacles is reversed. Tell me about the moon. Why is the moon here? Oh, wow, that's a lot. The Ace of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the Two of Cups. Wow. Yeah, something ended between you. I feel like there's a lack of clarity about the ending that happened, or maybe this person has had an ending in their own life. There's justice at the bottom of the deck. But this is kind of where all of this is headed. So I feel like there's potential here for a new love, a uh, beautiful reconnection perhaps with the two of cups the ace of cups but i feel like the way things ended maybe here the ten of swords um there's a lack of clarity there's doubts fears it's almost like one person knows how they feel but they don't know about how the other person feels you know how does Aries feel after everything that's happened between us, this Ten of Swords. Will Aries want to work things out with me? You know, there's the anxiety right here with the Nine of Swords. Tell me about this Ten of Wands reverse. What can you tell me? Spirit about this Ten of Wands reverse. I gotta keep getting like a bunch of cards. Let's see. Five of Wands. Ten of Cups. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. Jeez. Again, another five. Five of Wands here. Conflict, drama, fighting. And then I have the Ten of Cups. So I feel like someone wants to drop this burden with the Ten of Wands reverse regarding this drama, regarding the fighting. I feel like someone wants to have peace with the Ten of Cups. And the Wheel of Fortune here. What's at the bottom of the deck? The King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody that... I, I mean, this is very clear energy. I'm going to pick a soulmate oracle just to see what this person's energy is like. But this is definitely somebody that I feel is coming in Aries. Uh, it could be an ex or a past life connection. And I think that they've made a difficult decision. Let's see. What can you tell me about this difficult decision? And this unexpected event card. What can you tell me about difficult decision and unexpected event? Six of Swords, Death, and the Moon. Yeah. Scorpio energy, Pisces energy here. Someone left a situation. Someone walked away from something with the Six of Swords and they want a new beginning. Ace of Wands, Fool, after this Death card. However, with the Moon, they, maybe they're unsure of how you feel. Maybe they don't know how it's going to turn out for them. Maybe they have no idea how they will be received. I mean, there's a lack of clarity for them. But I don't think that... It's almost like just because there's a lack of clarity doesn't mean... Just because there's a lack of clarity, because for some reason I can't speak today, let me just repeat myself. 
just because there's a lack of clarity doesn't mean that it's going to hold someone back from leaving this other situation i think they're going to do it regardless they just don't know exactly where they're headed or how it's going to be where you know when they get to this other place spirit can we get some insight into the person that aries is or might be dealing with here what do we need to know about this other person's energies towards Aries, towards this connection? What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know? What do we need to know, Spirit, about this other person that Aries is, has, or will be dealing with? What do we need to know about this other person's energies? I regret not taking action sooner. Words can express how much I care for you. Yeah, this person, they have wanted to do this for some time. And I did get that energy in the reading. They just haven't been able to. For some reason, they've been wanting to take this action, which I feel is this departure. And maybe they've wanted to talk to you and reach out, but they, they haven't been able to. And now... It might be more difficult for them to be successful. So maybe they're regretting that they waited too long. Because since they've waited, there's less chances of success in their eyes. Or there's more of an unknown or a what if, you know. Otherwise, I'll leave it here. Aries, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all hopefully in another video very soon. Take care.